This jar may look like a simple jelly jar, but it has a story to tell. And thankfully, someone wrote it down. I'm Linda Satcast with imaphotohero.com, and in this episode, I'll share why stories about heirlooms and memorabilia are important and how to tell them. My husband and I found this jar in one of his parents' boxes. At first, all we could see was that the jar contained money, quite a few bills. On the side, it said, De Rainy Day Bank. And on top, it said, Don't be a schmo. But when we took off the lid, we found a written note in his mother's handwriting telling the story of the jar filled with $2 bills. They had started collecting them when they heard that $2 bills would no longer be printed. The money was for a rainy day, so sometimes they had to dig into it. One time, they got down to the last bill and had to use it at the grocery store, but the manager held it for them until they could come back and redeem it. They had other things to say about it, too, but doesn't that give you a glimpse into their life back then? And it makes you feel connected to them, because we all have times like that. Our memorabilia can be valuable or it can be worthless, but it's part of our family's story, so why not tell it? Memorabilia is usually a 3D item and not a photo, so I like to take a picture of it. I have a white sheet that I drape over my couch, which has a nice source of natural light behind it. And that's where I photograph memorabilia. Like my mother-in-law's doll. Here's the actual doll, and here are some pictures I took of it using the white sheet method as a background. When I create a book about my mother-in-law's early life, I plan to include a photo of her doll. Photos are also great for sharing family traditions. These red cups were used in my husband's family all his growing up years, but only at Christmas to use with eggnog. We've continued that tradition, so I took a photo to show the cups. That way, I can use it when I talk about our Christmas traditions. You might also have a toy you want to document. This little horsey was handmade by my husband's father. He designed it and cut it out and painted it, and then added four nice little wheels and gave it to Charlie for his first Christmas when he was eight months old. If you're making a family history book, you might want to do something like I've done here. Take a photo of the object and pair it with photos that actually show the object. It makes it so much more interesting and fun. I could even add a photo of our son enjoying the very same horsey. Of course, there are lots of other kinds of objects you could photograph, so take a little inventory of possible objects or heirlooms. Take some photos and tell the story behind each object. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, I invite you to do so. Click the bell next to the button to get notified when I post a new video. I'm Linda Sadcast with imaphotohero.com, where we help you turn shoeboxes of photos into shareable family stories.